Okay, Janet, um, this is a fairly straightforward um, shape to make. Um, I've got the two bitmaps that you supplied. They're in layer one. Um, I'll prefer this one at the bottom, so I'm just going to resize that. So I've got something to work on. Um, and because it's a bitmap, it gets very uh, distorted, pixelated. Um, you can either do that or, or zoom in on it, but I prefer to uh, work at 100%, um, 100%, he said, without having it at 100%, right? Let's put it up there so it's 100%. Uh, I don't need to work on that anymore, so I'm going to lock that. I can still see it, but it's locked. Right, now this shape really consists quite simply of um, rectangles, rectangles, rectangles. Um, not very difficult at all. Um, the main difficulty, or the more complex part of it, is this mustachioed um, plinth above the window. So uh, let's get that done first. Uh, and the first thing, if I just zoom in on that, is that um, this left side is the same as the right side. So all I need to do is do the left side, duplicate it, and then flip it. So let's start here, and I think we can say, I'll start in the middle here, and click there, drag that line, just holding that key down, I think that needs to go up some more, on such a mini little uh, bitmap, very difficult to tell exactly where you, what you should do and what you shouldn't be doing. Um, there, just click on there. Um, I'll deliberately click over, way over here. Um, there seems to be some bend on that one as well. Um, and then if I just hit enter, that closes. I'll leave that as a red line, red stroke and no fill. Um, what I then tend to do is just put a rectangle over the top of that. Shift, select the other shape, and then go Control uh, 2, which is the same as Arrange, Subtract Shapes. There. So I'm just left with that shape. I can then go Control Clone, which makes a duplicate copy of that. And I'll just make that green. Um, and I'll just flip it and I can move it across like that. Next what I'll do is shift select the two of them and control one which makes it just one shape. The next thing we want to do is to make this uh, plinth above the top. So I'll just uh, Roughly draw something like this. Hit enter to shut that shape. Uh, I'll make that orange. Uh, it's not very really good orange, red. You can see it better red. Uh, and again, what I do is just drag that rectangle out there. Click shift, select the two, and control two to remove it. And therefore, I know that that line there is now a straightforward down line. Control K to clone it. I'll change the colour. You don't need to change the colour, but I'll just change the colour so you can see it. Uh, I'll select that right hand side and flip it over there. Um, you might have to just, using the Alt key, just move that in a bit. Um, drag it a bit wider, possibly. Yep. Arrange Control plus one adds the shapes. So we've got that shape there. Um, now what I'm going to do is control clone that shape again and using the contour tool, I'm going to drag that out to make it bigger. I'm going to ins hit the insert, sh insert shape and I'll make that uh, red so you can see which one it is. And shift 
those two arrange combine shapes subtract shapes I can go arrange combine shapes add shapes so now we've got the uh, mantle over the window set um, so now the next thing to do is to actually create the window itself um, that's as simple as just getting a rectangle tool dragging that out so you've got a rectangle there and what I'll do is go arrange alignment apply that just means make sure that that um, the window is centered to the the plinth at the top um, I think it needs to go uh, uh, touch that way. I think that's about right. Um, now, well, next I'm going to do is just draw a line inside that rectangle. And we'll make that a blue line. Select the rectangle and the line. Arrange. Alignment. Apply. Close. I'm just going to hold down shift, drag that out like that, and then shift and hold that rectangle, arrange, alignment. If you just click on this top, top center, that arranges it so it's aligned centrally and aligned at the top, and apply. Control clone that. Again, using the shift. Make sure the two objects this time apply so it goes to the bottom. Then using the blend tool, uh, just go up to there. We don't need five blends, we only need three blends for that. So that's fine. So we've now got the lines that we need for the Part of the window panes, control clone that and rotate it 90 degrees, and that's fine. Um, but it's too wide, so again, if you hold a shift key down and just drag that in to match approximately where that rectangle is, that's fine. The other thing is that you don't, it doesn't need uh, th three steps, it only needs two steps steps on this one so do that control clone right then you've got this and this and the next thing to do is give it some a bit more line width so if we give it two no four I think it's, uh, I have to give it six so I'll give them that six I can now arrange Convert to edible shapes, arrange, convert lines to shapes, arrange, combine shapes, add shapes. Go to there, you can now see that that's one shape. I'm just going to go Control Shift B to send it back a bit so I can now see my original rectangle. I'm going to go control clone that rectangle again with those two now selected arrange combine shapes intersect shapes that just leaves me with that shape there um, I can then pick on that one and use six for that I think this one needs to be a bit thicker I only need eight for that um, Yes, I think 8 for that's quite good. Um, I can go arrange, convert line to shape. Now if I select, with that still selected, shift select that shape there as well, I can go arrange, combine shapes, add shapes. We've now got the window here. We might uh, want to just adjust the, the depth of this section down here by Alt and clicking 
and you may perhaps because it looks like a sash window make this sash slightly bigger so selecting just those lower ones and holding down the alt key making those bigger and drag selecting over those ones just drag select them up that makes it more like a sash window looks um, next thing to do is quite simply the window sill window whatever we call it zoom to all again arrange alignment make sure they're all separate uh, what I'll do with that now is I'll fill that with purple as well and take away the line colour um, I might just drop this down a bit um, hold down the alt key and just click dropping it down okay so we've now got that um, you can go arrange combine shapes add shapes and it's just, now just one shape and you can see if you go into the shape editor it's all there that's all there um, I'll then go control clone and let's set this to um, blue um, control shift back to send it behind one then go into the good old contour tool make sure the angle is set at the mitre join just drag it out and the mitre joins doesn't really work that well you have to give that a bit of a um, a rounded join um, that seems to work fairly well and hit the inset tool you've now got that shape and that shape um, where the contour tool doesn't quite match up here um, it leaves a gap um, so let me just preview zoom so if I make sure I've got that shape selected these points here I don't need I can just delete them that gets rid of that gap so that looks quite good um, next thing to do is just make a rectangle put it down the back and control back um, we'll put a color like that in there okay so you've now got basically the shape that you want that matches pretty much that one there um, The final thing I do is select that one, which the and select the color, and I'll give that a name color. Um, call it window. Uh, oh, glass might be better. Create. Select this one. Um, and that's that. It's a local full color, so I'm going to put this one as. I'll call this the inner shape create and then I'll select the blue I'll create a name color and I'll call that the uh, outer shape create right now what I can do is if I have the color editor open uh, I can drag the glass shape in and I'll just color pick over there which is near very close to a white if it isn't white um, I can click on that um, blue and drag the outer shape onto the color editor and make it that brown uh, and I can then click drag select the inner shape drag that in there and you've got that one too and then if I switch off that um, you can see you've got pretty much the shape you want and you can use that and resize it as a vector shape to create any size and clean uh, image you want uh, bitmap you want and um, the advantage of using um, colors is that um, let me just zoom out to everything uh, page content oh sorry because I've got this off there 
zoom to page content. Well, I've lost your uh, I've lost the other window for some somehow. Let me zoom this in a bit that gallery. Uh put it in there. Oh yeah, that's that's the way it worked before. Um I'm gonna select that. Select that. Open a new window, edit, place photo. Uh, 